Hello and welcome kids once again to your sixty classes of grade fifth. And in this part of the video, kids, I am going to revise chapter number eleven of your SST course book that is about the journey of machines. So I am going to revise keywords plus book exercises of this chapter, which is chapter number eleven. That is the story about that is the things about the journey of machines. So in this chapter, we have studied that yes, <clears throat> modern life is completely different from what. it was an old stone age what is the stone age it is a period when weapons and tools were made of stone or wood stone age wo time period tha human ki life mein jab jo hamare ancient human beings the early man the jise hum aadi manav kehte hain wo apne jo hathiyar hai weapons ya tools aujar ya jo hathiyar hai wo banate the patthron ko ya lakdiyon ko use karke so that time period was known as stone age and there is so much difference lot of differences between that time period that is the stone age and the present modern time okay and this difference is mainly due to the progress of science that has brought about many changes in our life obviously aur ye jo differences aaye hain this is due to the new discoveries new inventions and due to the scientific knowledge and techniques okay <coughs> sorry kids wherever we cast our eyes we see the developments of science in some form or the other yes wherever we cast our eyes matlab jahan par bhi hamari nazre padti hain hum dekh sakte hain science ne jo bhi pragati ki hai jo bhi vikas kiye hain development of science in some form or the other kisi na kisi swarup mein hame science ki development aur progress dekhne ko apne aas pass in every walk of life in every each and every field of life we can uh, see it Science has contributed to a great extent to the progress of civilization. What is civilization? A society which has its own culture and way of life. Civilization का मतलब होता है एक ऐसा समाज जिसका खुद का एक संस्कृति हो खुद की एक जीवन शैली जीवन जीने का ढंग हो तो साइंस हैज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड साइंस ने अपना योगदान दिया है टू अ ग्रेट एक्सटेंट टू द प्रोग्रेस ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन then we have seen that how the progress was made from stones to metals and the early men incidentally discovered the first metal that was copper okay the early man did not discover the metals but the discovery of metal was an incident incident means ghatna it seems as if a piece of rock fell into the fire after some time it was noticed that a red ball is in the ash of fire in place of rock piece the ball was shining and was heavy in weight and early man then heated rock pieces several times to see what happen again and again so this is somewhat the story the incident or the discovery of copper metal that he didn't find uh, out the copper metal intentionally but it was just a mere incident uh, a stone piece it was fallen into the fire and after some time when the fire was put out in the ash of that the early man noticed some a uh, solid piece of rock shining ball of a uh, red piece of uh, shining ball type material and that to confirm that the early man again and again heated that piece of rocks and likewise he find out the discovery of copper metal then there were so many metals were discovered like bronze tin etc and also early man uh, <coughs> discovered the alloys he learned how to make alloys alloy is a mixture of two metals okay and bronze is an example of alloy and it was made by mixing copper and tin and it was harder than copper and after a few thousand years came the wonder metal iron and uh, by using this metal tools and weapons were made of great strength and which helped them to clear the forest areas to develop farmlands and also hunting of the animals was made more easy and then early man uh, to become this discovery of all these metals helped early man to become a skilled carpenter farmer hunter potter and <coughs> blacksmith <coughs> now he settled at one place and began to lead a comfortable life he now had time to think of new ideas the new ideas invented several tools and machines which made the human life easier and comfortable and all those machines we have studied <coughs> in details that is the steam engine <coughs> discovery of a steam engine was done by James Watt in seventeen sixty nine. Then there came the industrial revolution. That is the change from handmade goods to machine made goods. Okay, and then a major change known as mass production took place due to better machinery. 
मास प्रोडक्शन मीन्स प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड्स एंड मटीरियल इन द इंडस्ट्रीज ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल एट लो कॉस्ट पर यूनिट ओके देन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट फूड फॉर मशीन दैट मशीन नीड्स पावर टू रन एंड दिस पावर वॉज जनरेटेड बाई बॉइलिंग द वॉटर टू प्रोड्यूस स्टीम एंड टू बॉइल द वॉटर कोल एंड वुड वॉज यूज सो कोल एंड वुड वॉज द फूड फॉर बिग मशीन देन वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द फ्यूल दैट कोल coal is found below the earth surface it is being mined from the coal mines and yes these resources like coal and mineral oil they are present in very limited form in our nature earth okay so we have to be very careful and wise while using these fuels then mineral oil was discovered accidentally and it was found in usa usa is the first country where mineral oil was discovered and the mineral oil is also found deep inside the earth wells have to be dug to take it out and it is refined to produce so many products like petrol diesel kerosene gas mobile oil and a variety of other chemicals then there was the invention of petrol machine and uh, gottlieb gottlieb demler gottlieb demler who was a german scientist developed a machine which could be run by petrol while rudolf diesel developed another engine which worked with another variety of oil called diesel and diesel was cheaper than petrol so it was being widely used at that time in the vehicles then we have studied about invention of electricity that to uh, hydel power or water power or hydroelectricity was being produced uh, when water is falling from a great height of a dam then by using the power of that water hydroelectricity could be produced and then the scientist all over the world wanted to produce electricity on a large scale so volta an italian scientist developed the first battery which produced electricity on a small scale while generators are the machines which could produce electricity on a large scale okay then we have studied about modern machines which we use <coughs> uh such uh, some machines machines which we used at home so some machines especially those used to make improvements in home are called tools uh, examples include hammer saw chisel uh, uh screw driver etc okay plier then machines make cooking easy there are so many machines like food processors for example juicer mixer grinder toaster roti maker machines refrigerators all these help in the different processing of the food and to keep the food fresh also then in the bathroom we are using hand basin the shower and the toilet which use valves and faucets or taps to make different uses of water then lifts and lifting that big and tall buildings have machines to move people up and down between the floors okay and the best known lifting machines are cranes elevators and escalators then we have studied about machines on land or road which is basically the means of ways of land and road transport like vehicles like cars buses trucks trains etc even bicycle and bicycle is being powered by the rider then we have seen about the machines in the water make navigation powerful basically the means of water transport like big ships boats trawlers trawlers are basically fishing ships okay which have a special equipment to find catch and process fish then machines in the air that is the large passenger and military aeroplanes and helicopters they are um, the they are among the most complicated machines of all because they are having thousands of mechanical and electronic parts then we have studied about electronics that many modern machines are either electronic or electric electronic machines such as calculators microwave ovens or computers they have specialized parts that help to control the machine and these gadgets these machines these uh, tools and technique they need electricity to run to operate then we have studied about construction machines that the base for new roads and buildings usually requires lots of earth to be dug and heavy loads to be lifted so to accomplish all these tasks there are machines like excavators dumper trucks uh, and these machines have some hydraulic or pneumatic parts and even certain hand operated or man made operated man operated machines are also there such as wheelbarrows then there are farm machines uh, which are meant to perform different tasks like plowing harvesting threshing seeding and watering to fertilizing the crops and even automatic milk machine is used to extract milk from dairy animals dairy animals are those animals which gives us milk and to operate all these machines all these tasks these machines are done by the uh, <clears throat> mechanical parts which is being fixed in the tractors so tractors have powerful engines which make 
these tasks, these work easy through different types of machines. Then we have seen production machines that production machines make things such as cloth and cars. Some production machines change the shape of materials by cutting or bending them. Then we have studied about some alternate sources of energy. That means now we have to think about renewable sources of energy like solar energy, wind energy, bio uh, gas plants. Okay, so that we can have a sustainable development of energy because solar energy that means the heat and light energy of the sun that is present in unlimited amount on the planet earth that could not be finished very soon that is it can it is that's why it is known as renewable source of energy because we can renew it time and again okay these are the solar energy these are the solar panels uh, which get energy from the sun's heat and light and then these are uh, connected to the electrical appliances solar appliances basically and the these solar plates absorb the sun's energy and in turn convert into electrical energy then this is the nuclear power plant where uh, the atoms uh, where basically atomic energy is being generated and this is wind energy and this is gober gas plant okay where the energy is being produced by mixing the organic materials with cow dung and all that <coughs> Now kids, let's see the keyword section. So first keyword is a stone age, the period in which the early man made stone implements. Implements means tools, ajar, hathiyar, ya patro se bane huye koi bhi saman. To wo time period, samay ka wo period in which jo humare adi manav the, early man the, wo banate the stone ke implements. Stone patro se bane huye cheeze, whether it may be weapons, tools or any other things. Okay? तो समय का वो काल जब अर्ली मैन मेड स्टोन इंप्लीमेंट्स देन नेक्स्ट इज द एलॉय इट इज मिक्सचर ऑफ मेटल्स व्हेन वन और व्हेन टू और मोर मेटल्स आर मिक्स्ड टुगेदर देन दैट इज नोन एज एलॉय देन इज द हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय यूजिंग वाटर रिसोर्सेस हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वो बिजली है व्हिच इज बीइंग प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय यूजिंग वाटर रिसोर्सेस बेसिकली व्हेन द वाटर इज मेड फॉल फ्रॉम अ ग्रेट हाइट ऑफ अ डैम देन हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज बीइंग जनरेटेड then there is mass production large scale production of a standard article by a standardized mechanical process matlab jab koi bhi article means things material goods when it is being produced on a large scale on in large number in large quantity aur uski koi ek standard value hoti hai means whatever goods some for example if any one particular good is being produced Uh, in that particular industry then that will be of a standard quality whatever number of items will be of that particular thing or material all will be alike so oh, okay all will be equal and same so that is known as a standard aur usko banane ke liye obviously there will be a standardized mechanism koi ek particular mechanical process hoga industrial phenomena hoga industrial process se un articles ko go through karaya jata hoga then only the articles are of standardized value na they are of same and equal quantity quality shape size etc okay so that is known as mass production <coughs> now kids let's see the book exercises that is multiple choice question it is being started from page number 85 of my ss t book so first is choose the correct option from the following first is an alloy is a metal natural resource mixture of two metals all of these so right now in the keywords i have told you that an an alloy is a mixture of two metals so mixture of two metals will be the correct word next which of the following metals was firstly discovered by the early man copper iron ore silver gold so copper was the first metal which was discovered by the early man so you will tick the copper next the change from handmade goods to machine made goods is known as the green revolution industrial revolution white revolution grey revolution so the correct option is industrial revolution so you are going to put a tick on this then who invented the steam engine in 1769 rudolf diesel gottlieb daimler volta or james watt so we have studied that james watt is the uh, scientist is the person who have invented the steam engine in 1769 so james watt will be the correct option for this statement Fifth mineral oil was found in dash Canada, Russia, USA, Brazil. Obviously, we have studied in the chapter that mineral oil was first discovered in the country that is USA, United States of America. Kids, very short question answer and short question answer. I will discuss with you later on. 
and also the distinguish between the following first let's see the uh, fill in the blanks so first is the tools of early man were made of डैश एंड डैश तो स्टोन्स एंड वुड ओके अर्ली मैन के जो टूल्स होते थे जो औजार होते थे टूल्स को हिंदी में हम औजार कहते हैं वो किस चीज के बने होते थे तो दे वे आर मेड अप ऑफ स्टोन एंड वुड वो पत्थरों के और लकड़ियों के बने होते थे सो यू आर गोइंग टू फिल दीज टू वर्ड्स इन द ब्लैंक्स सेकेंड द स्टीम इंजिन वॉज इन्वेंटेड बाई ब्लैंक दैट विल बी फिल्ड जेम्स वॉट राइट नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड दैट द स्टीम इंजिन who invented the steam engine in 1769 so james watt was the person who had invented steam engine in 1769 j a m e s james w a w t watt so make sure you write the correct spelling and you learn the correct spelling okay spelling should not be wrong third daimler was a dash scientist so here you have to fill that daimler was a german scientist basically to which country this scientist belong so daimler was a german scientist he used to live in germany so i have written german scientist g e r j o m a n m a n german fourth mass production started during dash revolution so mass production started during industrial revolution i n d u s indus t r i a l trial to so industrial revolution ke time pe hi mass production start hua tha because now the goods and articles they are being made they are being produced in the industries in the factories and with the help of machines so it was able people were able to produce large quantities large amount of goods and articles with the help of machines in the industries and factories in comparison to their handmade goods okay fifth dash was developed by volta in italy so first battery okay battery you also must have seen um, in your uh, remotes of the tv or your some toy car which is being played by the operated by the remote controlled by the remote there also and in your cell phone also some kind of batteries they are uh, present okay so the very first model the very first uh, thing the very first mechanical uh, process or a basic thing about battery that was discovered by volta in italy so that's why it is written first battery was developed by volta in italy actually aapke mobile uh, sorry aapke jo remote होते हैं टीवी के रिमोट्स या एसी के जो रिमोट्स होते हैं उनमें जो बैटरी लगी होती है दैट इज एक्चुअली द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सेल्स उन बैटरीज के अंदर काफी छोटे छोटे सेल्स फिक्स होते हैं और जब बहुत सारे सेल्स टुगेदर कलेक्ट होते हैं तो हम उन्हें कहते हैं बैटरी दैट इज बैटरी इज द कलेक्शन ऑफ सेल्स ओके तो जो फर्स्ट बैटरी है इट वॉज डेवलप्ड बाई वोल्टा इन इटैली सिक्स द सिंपलेस्ट लिफ्टिंग मशीन इज अ पुली पुली जो है वो सबसे सिंपलेस्ट लिफ्टिंग मशीन है लिफ्टिंग मीन्स वेन वी आर पिकिंग अप सम हैवी मटीरियल फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर और कैरिंग सम हैवी लोड फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर सो फॉर दैट टाइप ऑफ सिंपलेस्ट लिफ्टिंग मशीन विल बी अ पुली पी यू डबल एल ई वाई नाउ इन एफ रीड द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट केयरफुल एंड मार्क टिक ऑन द ट्रू एंड क्रॉस ऑन द फॉल्स वन सो यू हैव टू बेसिकली डिस्क्राइब ट्रू एंड फॉल्स इन द गिवन क्वेश्चन नंबर एफ तो फर्स्ट इज कोल एंड पेट्रोलियम विल लास्ट फॉर एवर क्या ये हमेशा के लिए रहेंगे इट इज अ फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट सो यू विल पुट द क्रॉस मशीन मेड गुड्स वर एक्सपेंसिव एंड ऑफ चीप क्वालिटी मशीन से जो सामान बनाए जा रहे थे क्या वो महंगे थे एक्सपेंसिव मीन्स कॉस्टली और सस्ते क्वालिटी के थे चीप क्वालिटी के थे नो इट इज अ रॉन्ग स्टेटमेंट बल्कि इंस्टेड मशीन मेड गुड्स वेयर ऑफ गुड क्वालिटी एंड दे वेयर ऑफ चीप रेट वो सस्ते दाम पे मिलते थे लेकिन अच्छी क्वालिटी के थे third dams produce hydroelectricity it is correct so tick mark biogas is very common in villages yes it is also correct machines do not need electricity to run it is a false statement many machines they need electricity to run you can see in your home even in the form of examples like mixer grinder washing machine geyser etc then in question numbers uh, c sorry g you have to correctly match list 1 with list 2 so james watt steam engine industrial revolution mass production Gottlieb Daimler petrol powered machines Volta battery generator production of electricity hydroelectricity that is power generated by running water generated means produced by running water then lifts they are fitted in the tall buildings to move people or materials from one floor to another or between the floors then computer that is an electronic machine and then trawlers t r a w traw l e r s lurs trawlers they are fishing ships which have a special equipments fixed inside the ships to find to catch and to process the fish 
and those special ships are known by the term trawlers okay so kids so the revision part of this chapter that is the book exercises plus keywords and a brief explanation of the chapter in short also has been done okay so that's all for today's class whatever is the remaining thing of this chapter revision that i will discuss with you later on okay and now your task is to start learning and revising the things properly by doing written practice in rough notebook that is the best way to learn things okay and also i hope all of you must have completed your book work and notebook work of your sst ud3 syllabus so don't forget to share your work with your subject teacher on a personal number for checking purpose also so keep on doing well health wise study wise that's all for today's class thank you for the class